Do I have a bugger? Always. Um, back with another snack video. So I was scrolling on TikTok as I do, and I came across S. Johnson voiceovers, one of his TikToks, and he was holding a snack that I felt was made for me and I must have it. I saw that this company sent him the snacks. It's like, well, you may have two million plus followers, but I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna ask them myself. So I reached out to Gloop Exotics and I was like, hook a Canadian girl up. And they did, which is super amazing. So thank you Gloop Exotics for all of these snacks. If you're new here, hi, my name is Miss Megan Robinson. I eat snacks on TikTok for fun, and I also do makeup here on YouTube. If you like looking at my face, and you like snacks, and you like makeup, then I mean, subscribe if you want. First up from Poland, uh, Cheetos Rock Paw Scissors and Hamburger Flavor. So I did have to go look up the ingredient list, um, but there was no meat like byproducts in it, so it's safe for vegetarians. So I'm very excited about that. Same with these guys here, the Lay's Italian red meat flavor. Um, I'm not 100% sure where, if they're Chinese, Japanese, Korean, I'm not sure where they're from, but that will be interesting. Cause sometimes too, like even though these seem really cool, if it's too close to the taste of meat, I might be upset. Then we have uh, white chocolate Smarties buttons, which I've never even heard of before. So there's Smarties inside white chocolate buttons. Nestle Nesquik, that's all it says. Um, they, it's almost like, it almost looks like a Kit Kat that's filled with like an Oreo type of situation. Um, I'm not a really big Oreo fan, honestly. Like I feel like Oreo is really overrated. I don't know if I've said that before. People want to put Oreo in everything. This could be amazing or it could be terrible. And I feel like it's going to be on the terrible side. Um, Hershey's pink lemonade and then Kit Kat chunky popcorn after my Kit Kat video. Uh, somebody mentioned that this one is amazing. It's one of their favorite things, but she said that there's like a layer of like butter or something there. So, um, I hope you're all sitting down for this one. Doritos with a fucking dipping sauce. It's probably like a salsa. I was so confident that I was going to get my hands on these that I didn't even finish watching his TikTok because I didn't want to know a thing about it. Okay, I don't know if I need to do the drinks first because I feel like they might have a weird aftertaste after a snack. I don't know. Fanta Exotic. I also can't make out any word to say where this is from. Exotic what? Cream soda, but we have cream soda in Canada. Um, where is there not cream soda? Please let me know. I haven't had cream soda in years. Like this, years. And then this weird bottle. Fanta, I'm assuming is Fanta, yeah. Uh, mango? I'm not a mango fan. Look at this weird bottle. It's like, do you guys know what a chubby is? Okay, I haven't really eaten yet today. Like I ate eggs earlier, but I'm really excited right now. Let's go right in with a drink. Fanta Exotic. My brain can't place a single flavor. It's like citrusy. It's like lime. I don't know why I just thought of those, like, have you ever seen those Asian, like, jelly candies? That's like a little, and you take off the peel and then you, okay, next let's try Phantom Mango. Ooh. I just don't like mango. And with Hershey's Pink Lemonade. The packaging is actually really cute. Like, I'm obsessed with that. Oh no, I feel like I'm not gonna like... Oh, okay. White chocolate with bits of raspberry lemon. It's weird. The raspberry makes it kind of gritty. Why am I assuming it's raspberry? Oh, ras oh, there's like cranberries and raspberries on the cover. Six out of ten. It's not bad. Next, let's do the Nestle Nesquik. So, Gloop Exotics is based in Michigan in the States. And I'll put their uh, website and their handles down below. So, cool snacks. Okay, so...
I don't remember what Nesquik tasted like. You know, like the powder you can mix them. I actually like, I want, I'd want this cold versus like room temperature. There's nothing special about this. I only want to give this like a five out of 10, four and a half. I'm going to save the Smarties buttons for TikTok. Pick at Chunky Popcorn. This could be scary. I love Kit Kat. Okay, there's that like thick filling. How did, how did they do that? Like I'm eating popcorn right now. what that was a trip it just tastes like not movie theater popcorn like at home in the microwave popcorn how and then it's got like a weird grit to it and then it has that like just sweet and salty aftertaste there's like a there's like a salty bit here that's probably the popcorn bit Okay, so in here, in here, there's almost like, it's like cereal, like the texture of cereal, but harder, like a corn puff, like a sugar crisp. Nine out of 10, because it's just crazy. The only reason I'm not giving it is a one, because I wouldn't buy this again. Lay's Italian Red Meat Flavor. Let's fucking go. Let's reset the palette here with Fanta Exotic. I can't get into anything. Oh. They taste good, but not what, like to me, that's not this. It's not even like a strong like marinara flavor. I still like them. So this is like six and a half out of 10 um, for a crisp. And just if you compare it to what's supposed to be, you're gonna be heavily disappointed. But I still really like those and I'll, I'll eat them. Cheetos, rock paw, scissors, and hamburger flavor. Ooh. That smells meaty. I'm scared. Paw. Oh my God, those are so fucking good. Okay, I don't know. There's a lot of paws in here. Those, those are scissors. I don't know. Rocks. If I would say which tastes like hamburger, but it's fucking good. Oh my God. And it's like, see my brain only really knows British snacks now. It's the texture of hula hoops. Oh my God. Mm. Eight, eight and a half out of 10. I'm fucking just, let's open this shit. It's beautiful. Look at that. Ugh. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. I love you. Okay, so let's open our sauce. Is that, sp is that spicy? I feel like this is a tear, yeah. Okay. Doritos look a little bit different. They're more like, they look crispier and a little bit more like, like the corn chip. The Dorito itself.
It was amazing. It's not the nacho like original. It's just kind of like its own flavor. And then the salsa. Got a different aftertaste compared to like Tostitos. Well, the combo of the two of them. Oh my God. Ten out of ten. I'm fucking obsessed. Let's wash this down with some crushed cream soda because it's been years. Oh, it's just like. I backwashed in it. That's fine. It's so good. It's just like pure sugar. Easily, without a doubt, my favorite thing was the Doritos with the dipping sauce, clearly. Make sure you check out Gloop Exotic so you can try some of these snacks yourself and then let me know how it went. If you don't already, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram, and until then, I'll see you next time. Oh, I got a little, like, let me go through.